friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie Heim, in case you are new here. Thanks for stopping by. This is gonna be a fun video because it's one that I've been looking forward to doing for quite a while. I thought it would be fun to show you guys my finished nursery tour, give you a tour, give you some little organization stuff, and I'll try to link as many things as I can in the description box. However, that does look kind of overwhelming just because I don't know how I'm gonna find all my links, but we'll get it done. <laughs> Before I kick off this video, I wanted to mention something. A friend of mine from when I was at Bible school started her very own candle shop and she asked if she could send me a couple and so I agreed because who doesn't love a good candle? And I was just thinking lately that I'd like to have some candles for the fall and Christmas and stuff like that. Her shop is called Serena Elizabeth's Hand Poured Candles and she has the cutest little candles. You saw me light one a little earlier. And I got the pumpkin caramel crunch scent, which is the one that I was lighting earlier in the video. And then I also got a Christmas scent called, I have to see what it was called. So I got the pumpkin caramel crunch and I also got the gingerbread scent and they both smell absolutely incredible. I know like I always get kind of nervous buying a candle online if I can't smell it first and stuff. But let me tell you, these smell amazing. I hadn't even lit them yet and my husband walked into, I just had them sitting on the counter. And my husband walks into the kitchen and he's like, oh, these candles smell so good. And I was like, I'm not even burning them. He's like, you don't even have to burn them. They smell so good, like, as it is. I've had several people say that the house smells really good when I have these candles burning. Yeah, I truly can attest, they smell so good. So I would love if you guys would check out Serena Elizabeth's hand poured candles. I will have her link in the description box and you can also use the code Valerie10 for 10% off. And you can also find her on Instagram at Journey with Serena. And I'm not exactly sure how long the coupon code is valid, so make sure you head over there and check it out. It's a really cute Etsy, Etsy shop. And let me just tell you, the nursery is smelling like heaven <laughs> but you can find all of that information down in the description box like i said and let's get into our video this is the nursery it is currently finished which is so nice um there's my candle burning and i'm just going to start probably over here and we're just going to go through the whole room talk about where i got things and links to things we'll go over some organization things as well and it's going to be tons of fun all right, we're going to start with the bookshelf. And I believe I had a video on when I, of when I styled this and like color coordinated all the books and stuff. All of the books that are on here, except for the bottom two shelves, are my books and my husband's books. And then the kids' books are on the bottom. But right up here, I wanted to show you guys, I have this little sound machine. And a subscriber sent this to me. It was on my registry, I believe, and it's so stinking cute. It's a Bluetooth speaker, it's a, you can plug your phone into it. It's also, I don't know, I almost want to say it's a radio, but then it's also a sound machine and you can pick a lot of different sounds and it's really so cute and so retro looking. And then right here, I just have my baby monitor sitting here just for until we actually use it, then it will be in my room and I'll carry it with me throughout the day. But my sister-in-law actually was getting rid of her monitor, so she gave it to me. And it's just, I think it's the VTech brand. If I can find the exact one, I'll link it, but I'll try to link a similar one at least. And then I have the camera attached to the side of the bookshelf right here. And it wants to just kind of slide down, so I'm gonna have to figure something out so it can get the full view of the crib right there. And then down here, these bottom two shelves, this is all books that are kids' books right here. I got all of these, most all of these from my baby shower. And then a couple others down here. And then this basket is just filled with like extra letters for my letter board, a picture frame, and then some little play books like that. And so that's what I have down there. And that pretty much covers the bookshelf. And moving on to the crib, we got this crib at Target. We purchased it online. I don't know if they sell it in store or not, but we got this one online. And I will link the exact crib for you in the description box because I can't remember which crib exactly it is. But what I love about it is how it's so, I love the little legs on it down below. It's so stinking cute and retro looking. And then the rugs, if you'll notice, those are both purchased from thrift stores. Well, actually this one here, the larger one, is from Facebook Marketplace, and then the small one is from a thrift store. And then beside the crib over here, I just have this faux plant, and this, that was also gotten at a thrift store like years ago. And then I have like this giant teddy bear 
not a teddy bear, a giant dog, stuffed dog sitting down there as well. And I think Chip got that for me. I can't remember, was it Valentine's Day one year? And I decided it's so stinking cute, I have to put it in a nursery someday. Okay, so moving from the crib over to my little nursing station. <laughs> this little footstool was got at a thrift store a long time ago. And then this blanket here was purchased at a local shop. I think it was the peddler, I want to say. And then this pillow was actually from Dollar General. And then the rocker itself, we also got that from Target. And I'll link that one down below because, again, I can't remember what it's called. But I just know it's very comfortable. It does not recline, which is kind of sad. But honestly, all the reclining chairs were so expensive. So we just decided this will do. And it's so comfortable. I'm really, really happy with it. This thing here is also from Target. Can you tell I like Target? <laughs> Up here, I don't have much in this yet because... It's probably going to be filled with like random junk and snacks during the night when I want to nurse when I come to nurse. <laughs> Here's the candle I was talking about. Smells so good. This in particular, I absolutely love. It's a little night light and it's touch sensitive. All you do is tap it twice. It turns on, you tap and hold and it adjusts the brightness and, and you just double tap and it turns off and it also changes colors. And I just thought it was perfect for the late night feedings when I don't want to turn all the lights on and really wake him up and stuff this will be perfect I'll link that below second shelf I have all of my nursing stuff here I have the haka if I'm saying that right I'm not sure I have some nursing pads down here here I have some of this glamorous stuff <laughs> here's the charger for my light and then here I have some therapy packs and some breast milk storage bags and I just put them in here for the time being and on the bottom shelf I have I'm gonna keep all my burp cloths which right now I only have four burp cloths so I'm really gonna have to stock up on those yet but that's what will go on the bottom something I forgot to mention about the crib is I don't have any sheet on it yet I don't have any crib sheets yet so I'm going to get those yet so really all I really need yet is I believe crib sheets and burp cloths and then I think I'm set and beside the rocker here, I have my trash can. And this is a breast pump that I purchased from a friend. And I need to go through all of it and clean it all and figure out how to use it. Kind of looks daunting to me, but oh well. And then this dresser, which I absolutely love. I love the color of it and everything pretty much about it. We got it on Facebook Marketplace and it needed cleaned majorly. So we got it, or I did my best to try to clean it. This is my hamper, and I also think I got that at Dollar General, so that was really nice. So on top of the dresser here is my tripod, which will not be staying there. But I have the changing cover, changing pad cover, and over here I have a little caddy, and inside I just have a bunch of diapers right here and wipes, extra, extra wipes in the back. And then in here I have some baby lotion, and this is from the Melaleuca brand, and it smells so good. Or it's from Melaleuca, it's the Koala Cubs brand. And then I also have Koala Cubs diaper rash cream, and then this is just an extra um, changing pad cover. And then right above that, I have these shelves here. The shelves I purchased at a thrift store, and I just painted them white. Uh, letterboard is from Hobby Lobby, and these little blocks are thrifted and no the letters do not indicate anything from his name <laughs> people were wondering and no it does not and then on the top shelf here a friend at the baby shower gave me this beautiful um potted plant and then another friend also made me these adorable little leather shoes i don't know if he'll ever wear them but honestly they're just so cute as decoration and i think that kind of covers the gist of everything in the room here obviously i have a snuggle me Right here, the teddy bears were, th this one here was thrifted. This one here, um, Chip gave to me as a gift. So now I'm gonna go into like the more organization side of things and I can't move my camera, good grief. Here we go. More of the organization side of things, I'm gonna show you inside the dresser and the closet and stuff like that. And so let's get into that. Okay, so in this first drawer here, I have everything in the smallest size of clothing and diapers because it's everything that needs to get used first. This is all newborn size diapers. I don't know what he'll be able to wear, but like I said, it's just up in the top drawer so it, I make sure to use them first. Over here, we have all of his pants. These are all newborn size pants. This little section here has some knotted gowns, and I have one more knotted gown, but I have it in my hospital bag. 
These here are little onesies. And in this one, I have some sleepers. These here are all sleepers. This here is a little sweatshirt that goes with some of the pants. So adorable. And then here I have just a bunch of hats and not sure what all he'll be able to wear, what will fit him. All of his hats right there. These are some little bibs. These are socks. Look how cute. I just absolutely love these. I cannot wait to see him wear these. <laughs> In here, I just have some little toys, extra pacifier clips and pacifiers, the holder for the diaper bag, and some little extra scratch mittens. And yeah, extra pacifiers back there too. Back here are some winter hats and stuff that I think I purchased at Once Upon a Child, yeah. And by the way, I will not be linking all the clothes. That would just be a little bit extensive. So that will not be happening. <laughs> Coming down to the second drawer, oh goodness. There we go. Second drawer here has, this is all zero to three month size clothes. So it's all the next set, next size up of things that I want to use. I just have some extra wipes in here and then also extra bassinet sheets, extra boppy pillow, boppy pillow cover. Along the back here I have some shoes. Over here these are some overalls that I have and some sweaters. These here are all shirts and pants that are like sets and go together. This is all onesies. And then over here is this row here is all pants. I am obsessed with little pants. I have so many. <laughs> and then these are all sleepers. Kind of the gist. And then these little drawer organizer things um, were on my baby registry. But I also got some of them from Ikea. And then some of them, the ones from my registry were from Amazon. And they work really well. And the last drawer, this is all blankets. Most of these were gifts. So again, I will not be linking all the blankets. However, I do want to mention my favorite swaddles that I have are from Lulu's. And I have my other two packed in my hospital bag so I can't show you. But they're so, so, so soft and they're so stretchy. And those are my absolute favorite kinds because they're just so stinking soft. And in here I have some bibs and stuff that he won't be using till he's older. Some sippy cups and some eating utensils, just really cute stuff like that, but that's the stuff he can't use right away. Then I actually just taped some dryer sheets to the side just because this drawer kind of stunk a little bit and I did not want that wafting onto my baby blankets. <laughs> okay, moving into the closet. On this top shelf, I have all of my diapers, and there's a suitcase, but these are all my diapers. And then these hanging clothes are all clothes that he'll wear when he's a little bit older. Some of them look how cute. I'm just, they're just so adorable. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good time. Look at these overalls. I am in love. They're so cute. And then, those are not baby shoes, those are my shoes. <laughs> but in this tub here is all of his extra clothes. So it's not even full. So I don't just have a ton of clothes for him, which is totally fine with me, but I have them labeled. I have nine months to two T over here, and then I have three to six months over on that side. So it is just a little bit easier to have access to. So I'm gonna be switching those clothes out with the clothes in his dresser. That is the gist of all of the baby stuff, and then the rest of the clothes in here are mine, so, because my closet is not big enough. And then I have just some extra baby hangers here, which are very handy, of course. All right, guys, that covers it for my little nursery tour. I hope you enjoyed it. It's nothing crazy, and who knows, we might have to be switching some stuff around once he's here, but we'll have to figure out what works best for us, and that's okay. But right now, this is just kind of the way I have it, and it was really fun putting together, and I am so excited to have our little boy in here and just actually use the things that are in here. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, I will try to put everything as much as I can in the description box for you all. I know that that can be super helpful. I always enjoyed watching these kinds of videos because it gave me ideas and helpful things along the way. Don't forget to check out Serena Elizabeth's hand poured candles. They will change your life and the smell of your house. They smell so good. And you can use the code Valerie10 for 10% off of your order. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're so close to meeting our little guy. We're two weeks out right now, but you know, never know. Could be longer than that. <laughs> Hopefully not too much longer. 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video on Wednesday. Bye!